KB9 WLM. KB9 WLM N0 IRS. You around yet, uh, Larry? Over? I think I'm getting close. Oh my goodness, you're about 10 over 9. It is, especially when it's on 1.2 gigahertz. Yeah, now look, 1.2 is wide open too. Okay, uh, let me kick the preamp off. I'll give you an accurate report, okay? Okay, I am really, uh, pleased to end a little bit on you there. I'm, uh, I just, you know, was shot there, and then you went to get a drink and come back, and there you were. Okay, uh, about a five and one. You're just barely moving the needle. Five and one without the preamp. Uh, with the preamp, you're five and nine. Over. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got four of them stacked, and uh, <laughs> uh, I've I've learned. I haven't been doing this a long time, but when you stack four of 55 element loopers, you get a laser beam. Well, I'm just running one single one. Uh, it's uh, I'm trying to think of the stick here. That thing. I got one of them big German and long German antenna, but anyway, it does. And uh, I think this is a KLM, I believe. I got a rotor and a boom, so I can turn it. Uh, No, I would imagine not. 130 feet ain't easy. Yeah, I be PO'd too, you know, especially when you find out why it ain't working. Yeah, uh, it's out there right now, and the birds just love it. They, they all poop all over. <laughs> well, this has got to be my most rem memorable 1296 contact. Not only do I get a grid square, uh, but I get to I get to have an enjoyable QSO. Oh yeah, well, you're just uh, you're embarrassing. My goodness, uh, just great there. Uh, of course, yours, uh, you know, everything you got's horizontal then, right? Yeah, yeah, all my stuff's horizontal. Uh, what, what, what are you, horizontal or vertical? Well, I'm horizontal. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit. Let me turn this thing here, and I'll, I'll, I'll rotate the antenna a little bit while I'm, while I'm talking. And uh, it's starting to turn a little bit now. Let's see, uh, see where it's at there. You probably won't see much difference until I get up to about 45 degrees. And... Uh, I'm about at 45 degrees there now, about 45 degrees, and I imagine uh, it's just about going there now, so uh, uh, we'll stop, and that's pretty well vertical right now. Uh, we'll turn it back, uh, turn it back down to the, down to the horizontal there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you, you dropped two S units when you got to 45, and you dropped almost out. I still, I still copied you uh, when you went straight vertical. You know, that's funny, uh, I played with that quite a bit. Right around 43, uh, 44, 45 degrees, there's a little place here, it just, it just drops over the hill. I, I would say uh, 270 miles on 1296, uh, uh, this good, uh, we got a good, uh, good strong opening. Uh, I wonder if my buddy Richard is, uh, uh, I know he's out in the shack, uh, I wonder if he's tried 1296 tonight at all. That's the bad part about it, the 1296 is open a lot of times, and it, it, nobody uses it. Well, exactly. It's always a, a, the, the last band to try. It's not never the first band. I'll be darned. Well, 220, I've had some pretty good luck on 220 tonight. And, okay, we'll find the uh, name here is Larry, Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo Yankee. Uh, we're in Echo November 40 XN. We're about 25, 30 miles of the west of uh, Peoria, Illinois. And uh, we're running a uh, 736R, the uh, 1.2 uh, module in it. Right. 
Okay, very good. T taking a little bit of a fade, but uh, still Q5 copy. All right, well, uh, this is one frequency where we can stay on the call frequency and make some noise. Well, I, I got feelings on that. You know, a lot of times some guys really get uptight about it when you're on a call frequency, but I figured, you know, if you make some noise and you get a contact, and you know, you can always move off and uh, probably ought to maybe you know, you give a little space in between and see if there's somebody wants to gab a little bit, but uh, boy, at 1.2, there's a scarce that uh, uh, I, I guess uh, you did, it's just kind of hard to keep your mouth shut there, over. I think the antenna just a little bit. I, don't, I can move about four degrees and you're gone. Oh yeah, me too. I, I'm I'm a, I'm at right at about six degrees and you're 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 out of there. I'll be dark. You know, I just thought if I could think that that German antenna and that KLM, you reckon that being one is uh, is American, the other is German, is they would talk the same? No, uh, I don't know. Might be. Might you might have to have a translator. Well, uh, I I might give it a try. Uh, <laughs> well, that German antenna was so pretty. It was a beautiful antenna. And I bought that thing and bought the That's thing. That's what you hear running in Denny. Making all that buzzing noise. One of those water cooled, uh, 23 PA. Uh, 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 water cooled job. Uh, that's what's going on here. Uh, I think it's touchy as heck, boy. It's just, uh, if, if you, uh, you go to sleep just a little bit on it, there's a smoke fly there, Owen. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing a little recording here, and I'm right now I'm recording the bird watt meter and looking at uh, peaks peaks right now about uh, six, almost 60 watts. Anyway, well, uh, I guess we got better clear and go find something else more important to do, huh? Uh, I did get a little bit of trouble with that uh, amp 13 rover. Oh, okay. Well, how'd you get in trouble? I better go out and make sure I ain't got the neighbor's tree set on fire. I tell you what, it put the hurt on that tree. Uh, they just cut it down. I felt bad about it, but uh, what are you going to do? But, uh, you know, when you run 350 watts with an antenna with a little gain to it, uh, I'd probably run it. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe 900,000 watts into that tree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 89,000 watts. Yeah, I, I would imagine that's probably your ERP uh, out of that, without a doubt. Well, all right. Uh, I guess this has probably been my best and longest 1296 uh, rag chew session ever, so I, I love it when it works. I don't like it when it don't work. <laughs> anyway, KB9WLM in Zero Hours. Try a ribbon around it, Larry. Yeah, if, if you would, send me a card in... Uh because I, I don't have anything to write anything down with right here. And don't send me no, I don't need a list of I'll send you a card back, and uh, we ought to get this one documented, so I'll make it official there, over. I'll be there, well, I, uh, that's just great. Uh, you, you made my day, and, uh, and uh, if I made yours a little bit better, I really appreciate that, too, there. And uh, I'm, I'm a little, I'm kind of old, old school. I like old tube stuff, and, and, you know, the old AM stuff like that there. I'm about half stupid, probably, but... Uh, I, uh, I got a Johnson Death Kilowatt I restored and got a D368 and some old R390s and uh, a few things like that. So uh, uh, one of these days uh, I'm hoping that uh, uh, 10 meters will open up and I can uh, get on there and make a little noise with AM there. So uh, I do pretty good on 432 if you got anything. I've got a big old Henry setting over there for 432 and uh, I could, uh, I, I just load her up to where the water meter quits making, uh, making uh, movement. And I uh, hope it don't tear the slug up there. So we'll say 73, KB9, WLM, Cannon, Illinois.